So this is your Winterland Bauble. This is the smaller version to that large one. You've got the detailed dies in there, you've got the plain dies in there. So you can see here all your different components. You've got little hangers as well, like little charms. They would look beautiful with embossing powder on. But you've got all those Verso dies in there as well. So let me show you how to make it because it's so easy. Now what I can say to you is it's easier to stick all your panels on when it is flat. Because of the contours of this, it's easier when it's flat. So all these, we've cut them out with the dies. We've actually put double-sided sticky sheets on the back and then glittered through them. So essentially now, these are little sticker packs. So we can just stick all our little panels on there. So you can see very easily just going along, sticking all this on. Now you will be covered in glitter if you do this, okay? You'll be sparkling for days. So let's place that onto there. I love the snowflakes in this collection as well. If you like snow snowflakes, beautiful little panels. But don't forget all these panels, you can be using on your cards as well. They don't have to be just on these boxes. They can make lovely corner brackets on your cards as well. So let's just take that one off. So this is the last one. No, it's not. I can't count. There's another two. So let's put those ones on. So just carrying on, putting all those little things on. Now, these could be cut into your card. Yeah, it, these look beautiful with little tea lights in. You know, maybe you want to put them on a string. Maybe you buy the whole string of lights and just put the light bulb inside this. They all hang. Now each and every die has got its little emboss lines, okay? So all you're going to do is you're going to go down and you're going to reinforce all those little score lines. So all those, and then you're going to come in and you're going to bend the interior ones. So you're literally bringing your box up to bring those other panels into play. So really you're doing a valley and a mountain on each one. So I'll do it slowly this time. The uprights, you're going to bend over. Your horizontal, you're going to bend over. And then all the other diagonal folds, you're going to do an invert crease. So you're literally just bringing it up and pushing it with your, your finger underneath and bringing all those creases into play. So let's put the adhesive on the little glue tabs. So just taking it down there, down that side as well. And also on this one as well. So let's get rid of that green dot that I've picked up from the previous box. Just that would affect where it's going to stick. So on there, so let's trim that bit off there and that bit off there so we don't need it. And then we can start to put this box together. So because I'm right-handed, I do it upside down, okay? Because that way I've got more control on how I stick it together. So all you're going to do is you're going to put the bottom small line to the bottom of the box. You're going to make sure that your middle one lines up and just stick that down. We're going to do the same on the opposite side now. So let's take off that red tape and let's bring that one over the top making sure that we align up because if we don't align up we're going to end up with a lopsided box and that would be a definite no-no. So let's just stick that into place. So now we've got the beginning of our box. Now the principle for this box and the large bauble box are exactly the same when it comes to putting the base together. Put your high tack on the bottom of one square and you're going to bring it across and you're going to line it up with its friend on the opposite side and stick it down. We're going to take another piece We're going to put it on the opposite side. We're now going to squidge in those little panels, okay? 
just pull that one back out. So squidge those in there, squidge that one in that side, making sure that everything is flush and level before we stick. And that is going to give you that beautiful bottom of the box. Then at the top, take your two little peaks, align your little holes, and then you're gonna squidge in that segment there. Squidge, put it through the top and pull it through. The same on the other side, give it a squidge, put it through the top and pull it down. And all I'm going to do is finish that off with a little bit of ribbon. And as I say, these could be hung. You could have them hanging on your Christmas tree in your, in your particular colors. You may want to add string, string of lights in there. But that beautiful box is your winter wonderland bauble. Isn't that beautiful? See you later.